Assalamu alaikum. This is a video response from an Ahmadi, and I am responding from to an objector who has put many videos out on the internet, and certainly we have responded over a, about 42 different responses. And uh, we have put forth arguments, we have supported our arguments, and in responding, we have consistently asked this objector who alleges different things towards Ahmadiyyat and the uh, promised Messiah, Islam. we have asked this person repeatedly to support his position on whatever he was making comment on. And as the viewers have witnessed on their own, this person continues not to give supporting documentation, not to respond to our request, but yet he continues to make further accusations, uh, false accusations, apparently because he has not shown one time that he is able to support what he is saying. Our videos are very apparent that we are for the people who are seekers after truth, or those people who are seeking truth. Um, apparently, this objector cannot respond or break any of our arguments. We have broken every argument that he has put forth to us. But he, on the other hand, has not broken any of our arguments. Not one. And viewers, you have witnessed that, that he has a way of dodging our questions back to him. He, you know, he really appears as if he's a coward. He runs every time we pose a question back at him and, and ask him to please support your allegations. But as always, he runs away from our questions and begins more allegations with no support, just simply accusations. And then, viewers, I'm certain that you have seen that when we challenge him, which we've done on every video, that it upsets him. His language becomes more vulgar. And we asked him, do not be vulgar towards us. We're just simply responding in a mild manner, in a professional manner, but yet it upsets him. And that may be an indication that he knows he's spreading falsehood. And I want the viewers to know that we're not going to continue to respond to his false allegations unless he responds to the questions that we have put forth to him in our previous videos. We have been anxiously waiting for a response from him that has never come about. So again, I want to say to the viewers, observe how he has a way of sidestepping our questions the way he does not answer our questions, but continues to put forth false allegations. In a recent video, he has made fun of a revelation of the promised Messiah, where it is said that Allah will destroy those people and those arguments that are brought about to disgrace him. The objector apparently, once again, does not understand the meaning of the Quran. And it, we must assume that he only takes these words literally. So how will he explain this verse in the Holy Quran? And I want to draw his attention to chapter 17, Bani Israel and specifically verse number 82 and I would like to read that to the viewers. Verse 82 says, And proclaim, truth has come and falsehood 
has vanished. Verily, falsehood is bound to vanish. Now, if he's taking that literally, then he would then assume or say that falsehood has vanished among the Christians who, in fact, still do not believe in the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Jews do not believe in the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Wasallam. So if he is taking that literally, in terms of what the promised Messiah has said, then he has to also take the Quran literally, because we all know that falsehood has not vanished. What Allah means, or the interpretation of this verse, is that Allah is saying that he will break the backs of those people who... What this verse really means is that Allah will break the backs of false statements made towards the promised Messiah and the Holy Prophet that he will break their backs in terms of supporting arguments, proof, not that falsehood would ever disappear off the face of the earth because we know that is not going to happen because falsehood still exists. And if he took that literally, then why is it 1500 years later falsehood is still here? Is he saying that he doesn't believe in the Holy Quran? That's what it sounds like he's saying. Because we all know falsehood is still here. So it doesn't mean literally that falsehood will not exist. It means exactly what we're doing right now. And that is we will prove without a shadow of a doubt that there, the, the, the promised Messiah is a true prophet. What he has spoken of regarding the Quran in the Hadith, that that is true because each time the objector raised a point, we prove without a question of a doubt our position and we made reference as to where we got that information so it's obvious and it's very apparent that that verse means that Allah will break the backs through supporting documentation through showing proof real proof to wipe out falsehood but yet falsehood as we know will still be out there but you cannot deny the documentation that we provide is proof from Allah. And this person, it should be obvious to the world now that this person does not believe in the Holy Quran, does not believe in the Hadith. He's certainly disrespectful of the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and he has no shame, no shame telling falsehood to the entire world. And it's obvious that this person is lying between his teeth. And he has no shame. But as, as we have presented ourselves, we will certainly break the backs of any arguments just as we are breaking right now, as I said again, we're breaking the backs of this objector, this accuser, this alleger, we have shown our proof over and over and over in over 42 videos. And in closing, I would like to make one more point, and that is that this objector also categorically denies the Hadith Qudsi. Now, as we all know, all Muslims know, that this, is that this Hadith Qudsi is universally accepted by all Muslims and I think that this points out that this person is not a Muslim and therefore it shows his level of disrespect not only for the promised Messiah but also for the Holy Prophet the Holy Prophet of Islam so viewers you make your own decision if this person is given falsehood, spreading falsehood, 
and spreading lies and witness the fact that we are truthful in showing you our support information and documentation. And the Hadith is, again, which he categorically denies, is that Allah would not have created the heaven and the earth had it not been for the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.